Hi, fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate all of your love and support. And it's reading. We're going to find out who has been thinking about you lately and why. Please bear in mind that there's a collective reading for uh, fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. But if this reading finds you, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same signs. I'm sitting outside now because I've been in my room for way too long today. So hope you don't mind uh, all the noises because we are next to a street right now. Spirit of Angels, please show me for Leo, Aries, and Sag Sagittarius who has been thinking about them lately and why. Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and this person. Not a soul, it's at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So this person could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, and then we've got the Six of Cups here. So this person most likely misses you a lot. But the Six of Wands here can indicate perhaps they are prideful, okay? Maybe, or Six of Wands can indicate this is someone very attractive or could be popular. Um, you know, popularity is very subjective. It could mean that maybe this person is popular among their friends, among their community or it could literally be a public figure or a celebrity but six of wands this is a fire energy leo aries sagittarius so it could be you again bear in mind that it could go vice versa so this person could be thinking heavily in regards of how good looking you are or how successful you are or whatever you could have been doing lately that could be gaining a lot of attention okay now we've got the empress here in our first so the empress in our first this person could be a Virgo, Capcom, or a Taurus. Again, Six of Cups can it maybe could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. But it does feel like with the Eight of Cups, maybe this is someone... Either they live very far away from you, or maybe they could have walk, walked away from you, or you may have walked away from this person. Because the world, it makes me feel like maybe both of you are worlds apart from each other. Unless, it could also mean that maybe both of you are very different from each other, right? Worst, you know, could be a metaphor, worlds apart from each other. Both of you could be very different from each other. Or it could be literally that this person lives far away from you, okay? And then we've got the Three of Cups here in one verse. And then we've got the Ten of Wands in one verse. And then Queen of Swords. Hmm. Again, this person could be an... Uh, an air sign, a uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The thing, the thing that I'm seeing here is there's some anger, there's some resentments. So it could be you or this person, but there's this energy that I'm picking up on where um, someone. Okay, when I say someone, that means it could be you or the other person. So someone could be feeling as though I've been nurturing this connection. I've been so kind, da da da, and then. But then, in the end, the nine of wands in reverse, three of cups in reverse, ten of wands in reverse, eight of cups. In in the end, uh, either they themselves had to walk away from you, or that they could be thinking you still walked away from them, even though they have invested a lot of their time and energy into you. Okay, again, it could go vice versa. Bear that in mind. Okay, because the Queen of Swords, this energy where it could be a decision that has been made with eight of cups like a very firm decision saying that you know i need i, I need to cut this person off whether it's you or this person okay and then nine of wands in my verse indicates um could be you or this person like i've given up because i'm no longer happy three of cups in my verse and the empress in my verse i can't give any more another thing that i'm picking up on the empress in my verse sometimes can get insecurities Either this person has made you feel really insecure at one point in time, or you may have felt insecure with this person at one point in time. But I definitely see this person is thinking heavily about you right now because of the Six of Cups. This person misses you, okay? Things that both of you have done together. 
um, most likely it's like you know, six of cups is something from the past, a long time ago. Uh, they could be thinking heavily in regards to, like how in the beginning part of the connection where everything was still very genuine or very innocent, very sweet. Because these are kids, right? The nine of swords, again, this could be someone that you are really upset with or vice versa. And to be honest, it feels like I'm angry but then I also still care about this person. And this could be the reason why this person could be thinking heavily about you right now. And then we've got the seven of cups. This person could also be wondering, what are you up to? You know, what's going on in your life? Trying to put the puzzles together. And then we've also got the ten of swords here in one verse. Maybe if some of you is someone you have released because you're upset with them. And and this person may have made you feeling really confused at one point in time. Or again, it could go vice versa. That maybe this person is upset with you, still angry with you, right, and ten of swords and what first, they're trying to release you, but they're still kind of like with the seven of cups, still thinking about you, wondering what you're up to. This person could also be thinking about, hey, how do I get fire signs attention? Because six of wands sometimes can get attention, so they could be wondering if, have you been keeping tabs on them? Have you been seeing what they've been doing? Or again, it could go vice versa. Maybe there's someone that lately you have been wanting to know what they've been up to. I just saw 0606. That could be your angel number. You can check it. You can Google it. We've got the two of pentacles here. One first indicates a decision. Someone may have made like a very... Mm, either it's a very impulsive decision because the nine of swords is super fast. Either a very impulsive decision or with the queen of swords a very harsh decision okay either it's you or this person hmm. and for some of you maybe there's someone whom could be thinking like you're doing well for yourself right now and the world can okay, okay, maybe you've closed this chapter with them although they do miss you with the six of cups and wonder what you've been up to but there's also this ten of wands and of us in the queen of swords you may be thinking, okay, maybe it's easier to just reminisce and keep the good memories with me of this person rather than try to pursue it at this point in time. I'm going to pull out some of these women's angels, okay? wedding okay so either there's someone you because look we've got the three of cups here sometimes it can indicate engagement wedding whether you are married to this person or not if not maybe both of you have talked about getting engaged getting married talked about the future right but the eight of cups here just makes me feel like somebody has finally walked away from this and the queen of swords is somebody who doesn't want to be treated a certain way like she's definitely no bs no nonsense Again, it could be you or this person. And then we've got unrequited love. Yeah, look at the ten of wands here. Some of you, maybe this is someone you felt like, okay, I had to do everything while they aren't as invested or vice versa, okay? And then we've also got the pay attention to red flags children. See, look, the six of cups right here. Can you get children? So for some of you, maybe this is someone from your past, but also... It could be them thinking or reminiscing about the past where, when things were still nice, when things were still new between the two of you. And then also we've got the retreat. You may have met this person either if somewhere online or while you're traveling. It may not always mean that, but the retreat, unrequited love. Yeah, somebody may have retreated and then stopped nurturing this connection with the Empress and Empress. It could be you or this person. And some of you, if you've traveled with this person before or you know, spend a lot of time with them just one-on-one, -on -one, they could also be missing that and thinking a lot about that, right? Pay attention to the red flags. Who knows? Somebody may have done something in the past because the Ten of Swords here is also in reverse, can indicate some sort of betrayal. 
yeah but anyway fire signs leo aries sash this is your reading hope you resonated in some way shape or form if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm open for personal readings if you like to book me my information is in the description box below feel free to subscribe to my other channel it's called chelsea vlogs my travel channel and for those of you who like to be notified every time when i post your videos and every time i go live don't forget to hit on the bell notification button all right take care hope to see you back here again sooner than later bye